so I just watched Izzy Perkins film a video like this and I was like, hey, why not? I could be like Izzy Perkins. Um, just kidding. So we just got done watching The Green Book. I saw it for the second time and it just won the Oscar for best movie, as you know. Um, it was super good. So if you haven't seen it, you should. I got some of these equate wipes when I was at Walmart the other day because sometimes I do swatch parties and I always use up my Neutrogena's. So I was trying to look for something affordable. My eyes been tearing. And so I wanted to take my makeup off. So I want to clean my beauty room really quick. <laughs> I know you guys have asked me for a tour and I've talked about this on Instagram but not on YouTube. I'd like to replace this bookshelf behind me because it's kind of, it's kind of uh, bending in the middle and I just feel like I need a new bookcase so I might do that. tour of my situation here. So I filmed this weekend. This is my camera. My lights kind of sit like this when I'm not using them. And then when I do, I turn around. This is a pile of clothes I want to donate. I save cardboard boxes for when I want to mail things out from Poshmark. I haven't put my bag away. This is my old work desk chair from my old job and I never got rid of it because it was expensive and now I just use it for when I do people's makeup on the side and I do keep my purse in its dust bag because it's important to me and I don't want it to be destroyed. And then here is my other planner. This is the weekly planner. You guys had all, I had a few comments where you guys said you wanted an update on my experience using these planners, which I will film in a video soon. So here's my other filming light. This is my heart. Where I keep all my eyeshadow palettes. This is my bin that I keep. Oops. This is the bin that I keep all of my boxes in. You guys just saw this in my iPod makeup packaging video. That's my trash can. That's an empty container. This is where I do my makeup and also film my YouTube videos. So this is my background. That's my light that lights my background. Those are all my makeup drawers. So it's a pretty nice sized room. I'm definitely lucky. Let's put you guys over here and try and clean this place up. So I did go to Target the other day, their dollar section gets me trying to buy less things. So I thought, hey, let me get this so I can put all my receipts in here. Don't know if that's actually going to happen. Got these cute tags because I thought, hey, I could label my drawers instead of using little post-it notes. Life hack, I like to buy little thank you cards in the dollar section at Target because I use these all the time. And then I saw this cute guy and I thought, hey, that'd be so cute for knickknacks or my bags. And then I was really excited because I found these on clearance. Our Target's getting a remodel, so I don't know if that's why these were on clearance, but these new pixie shadows, these are the glittery eye quads. They're like 14 bucks a piece, but now they're on clearance for $9.80. And they're so pretty. How cute are those? So need to do something with that. So I kind of want to show you guys this. This is where I put all of my new products that I buy. So this is where I keep it all so I can film like my monthly hauls. That's where I charge my camera battery. I 
have an amazing husband and he told me I should get two because I can charge one and film with one so that's a really good YouTube hack. Here's a little mug my friend gave me for my birthday. It's so cute, it's a Ray Dunn mug. And it says sip, she knows me so well. Here's more, more mess. Okay, these drawers need to get fully organized. They're not quite there yet. Okay, so back to here. I love this palette. I use this on my eyes today. Always like to keep some makeup wipes on the table. This is like my little shop, my stash drawer. I love this little bit of primer. Always keep this Vizier one on hand. I tried out this new Wet n Wild Shimmery Bronzer. It's pretty nice, but I'm gonna put it away for now. Same with this blush. This is the BH Cosmetics Bronzer in the shade Coco Cutie that I use. Super affordable. This is the oops. This is the Becca blush in Songbird that I use for a little as well. Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. This is gorgeous. This blush shade, not as scary as it looks. This palette, oh my gosh. I haven't talked about this palette on YouTube yet, but I haven't bought it. I'm missing out. Here is the Cleonade 55.6 North Collection. Oh no, these are just my Cleonade extra ones and these are some color pop shadows that I've never used. <laughs> Putting it in the pile guys. Putting it in the pile. Right here this is where the real mess is at. Let me try and get you guys closer. <sighs> okay so this is the table I use when I film. These are some new color pop lippies I just picked up so I like to keep them Right there, these are some new pixie things, some new color pop. It's like my go-to face powder. This is tip away. This is tip away. This is the new color pop foundation that I need to try. This I was using all week long. The new Wet n Wild loose highlighter that I want to try some more. Dirty Beauty blender section. Today I used. These two foundations from the drugstore. I like the flower one, not so much the L'Oreal. Put that over here. More foundations. I'm gonna try and film the video reviewing all of these. This is my brush cleaner that I like to use when I'm cleaning brushes. These two are such good foundations. I really like both of these. This is the Sephora one. It reminds me so much of the Kat Von D foundation, so I like that. This is the new L'Oreal concealer. This is a new blush I really like from the drugstore. This is the Renault Maxi blush in the shade Sweet Cheeks. This is where I keep all my eyeliners and mascaras. I don't know if this brush is dirty or clean. This is my new favorite new style mascara. This is uh, Hourglass. Is dirty and keep all my dirty brushes down here and they need to get washed. This goes over here. I need to get this place clean.
inches and about two inches. Make this a target. How cute is that? I want to do a t shirt video like Kathleen Lights did. I think you guys would really get a kick out of my t shirt collection. Also got this in the mail because I thought the color story was super cute from Maybelline. I haven't really tried one of these before. Q-tip always on hand. in my Amazon favorites and I've got a link in my bio if you guys want to check this out. I know some of you requested like a tour of this bag which I will definitely do shortly. Just keep a lot of extra supplies, foundations, makeup removers, concealers, Freaking hula <laughs> for all the Caucasian beauties that I do makeup for. And this isn't like huge kick or anything, but if you're like me, and sometimes you travel for makeup jobs, it's nice to have one. Flash that back there. away for a bit possibly Ooh, I haven't used a NARS face palette in a while this one anyone remember this this is the border plage and I might give that one a whirl wow I would suck as a vlogger I just talked and talked and talked and I wasn't even filming so this is not going to get fixed anytime soon. This is fine. I'm going to put this away. I was using it to film, but no, I'm not. Turn my light on so you guys can see better. This table was pretty much cleaned off. This stuff needs to go in my purse and such. My pile. Take care of it, pile. <laughs> go back I grab these these are all my clean eyeshadow brushes that I use for when I film my makeup look and then this table just kind of sits here when I film I should clean it off on clearance so I might take this back and I don't know it's just kind of weird because it's pretty new so I don't know why they're clearancing it at Target but it feels like my local Target's like getting rid of stuff because they're going into a remodel Oh, I gotta show you guys this. 
this made and I said I picked it from Lyco Cosmetics. Something about the shade range screamed out to me. And then I thought it might be fun if I review these for you guys. Because I didn't do it originally. These are the colored rain pigments and I threw in some other colored rain shadows I have too. And these are pretty much untouched, which is pretty pathetic. So review, review, review. Kinda cute. Love, love. Nice new things. <laughs> Just amazing. Ooh. Try these out. And let's see. This is going. This kind of sucks. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my little declutter cleanup situation. We'll see how this goes when I edit it. And if you guys enjoy this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.